Go a little bit further forward so we can check your shoot. Your shoot's okay, Felix. I say it again, item 31, your shoot integrity is checked. Your parachutes are not deployed. Item 32, verify cutaway knife handle strap is attached and knife in proper position. Say Roger if it's so. Roger. Okay, chest pack faceplate heat is on. Make certain that's is on and you got a red light. This red light is on. Okay, uh, here we go. Item 34, disconnect chest pack umbilical. Okay, uh, do you read me, Felix, on the communications? Uh, Felix, give me a short count. Okay. Stow umbilical. Disconnect both oxygen supply hoses. Okay, are they disconnected? Give me a thumbs up if they're disconnected. I don't, they're still connected. Felix, disconnect the oxygen hose. Atta boy. All right, stand up on the exterior step. Keep your head down. Release the helmet tie-down strap. Start the cameras. And our guardian angel will take care of you. That's very, very reassuring what we've seen there. Roger. That high speed drop. And now you can see from the little dot, there's the applause. David, you call it in? You said something. Kent. Family applauding, but you can see by David, can you hear me? the little dot that he's in controlled descent. Minute into free fall. So two minutes. Uh, keep talking, Felix. Keep talking. Still can't quite make that out, but reassuring to hear his voice. And you can see how he's in control there. 
That's showing you the supply of oxygen in his oxygen bottles. Yes, Felix, I hear you. Go ahead. Roger, go ahead. Go ahead, Felix, I hear you. Go ahead. Still free falling. Really stable. You fall in three and a half minutes. Record is. I have to fall before because my riser is walking out. I repeat, my riser is walking out. I fell. So you can understand that. He said his visor was fogging up, but he's getting to warmer altitudes. There's the shoot. There's the shoot. Under, under parachute now. Could have done any better myself. There's, there's the from the helicopter the now. At five to ten. Out of the north. Under at five canopy. To ten. And you can contact floating Mike Todd safely, on this frequency. Give Mike Todd a Floating safely down over. to earth. There's Ava Baumgartner. Felix, the wind's out of the north, 5 to 10. Give Mike Elated. Todd a call. Elated. Tears of joy over. from Mission Control. As Felix now Felix, approaches I, uh, the ground. I hear you. The wind here are out of the east. At about 10 to 15. So, so we're we're now at 6,000 feet. This is Mission Control Felix's current altitude under the chute is 6,600 feet. On each direction. So he has the highest we're jump. For you, but we can't find you. Uh, the telemetry didn't work. There he is. There's a closer shot. Closer shot from the helicopter. Felix, the wind's out of the north, five to ten. Beautiful I'm shot. Facing that big tower. Anybody can hear? I'm facing that big tower. Okay, and the wind's out of the east. I'm sorry, I gave you the wrong information. Out of the east. Oh, you Felix, we're coming your way, bud. Carry on, but he's learned. Felix, wind is out of the east. The wind is out of the east. Under parachute, you have we see it. We're quite coming a, your way right now. Quite a bit of control. By pulling us. Land down in some other direction. Wind's out of the east, Felix. Wind's out of the By east. By pulling the cords, he can control a fair amount of control on his path into this landing. Now we see that scrub earth below. 
Felix's altitude is 5,800 feet. Just 5,000 feet now, so really nearing and the altitude out there. I'm not sure of the altitude of the ground. Hey, drop from clear, guys. Drop from target clear. Luke's making the call to drop smoke, Felix. That means to Luke's drop us Felix. smoke marker from one of the helicopters. Oh, he wanted to see, I see. He wanted the smoke so he could see the wind direction. Hey, Felix, the wind is coming from the ridge. The wind is coming from the ridge. No, towards the ridge. Art Sorry. Thompson, the, wind the is coming technical director the ridge. of the Red Bull Status Program, telling him that the wind is coming from the direction of that ridge I was talking about. So he certainly got the highest jump mark that he was after. We'll find out about the mock. Did he break the speed of sound as he hoped? Here he's coming. And there you can see by the approaching shadow, he's just about there, and he's down on the earth, safely back. Down on his knees, what a shot. So he has the new record. Control shows recovery crew is at uh, Felix's location. Also, Mission Control shows uh, the balloon has been cut from the capsule and the capsule is on its descent. So in there fast, he has the world's record now for the highest jump by far. Around 28,000 feet so more than 24 miles up, successful after all this training, all this work, all this time, there is the capsule being lowered. It has been cut away from the balloon. It's parachute deploying automatically and the capsule comes down to preserve the data and the pictures that are there. There's Stratos capsule altitude is uh, family celebrating 4,000 feet. Mrs. Baumgartner, friends, Felix Baumgartner Sr., his father, all celebrating here at Mission Control. There's the recovery helicopter very near where he landed, out to the east of Roswell. Yeah, we have unofficial word there on some of those those statistics. It was a four minute and uh, this was unofficial as they got it in mission control. Four minute mission control and 22 second feet and descending. drop in free fall. So that would not break the Kittinger record for that. Would not break the record for the elapsed time of the free fall. And we'll see, did he break Mach? Those were speeds up in the 700 mile an hour mark. So I think that's unofficial and calculated a bit differently than the instrumentation aboard his pressure suit. Feet descending. But that looks like he probably broke Mark. Mach, excuse me. But we'll see. That has to wait. And he broke the record, as we mentioned, for the highest manned balloon flight. 